Hi guys, I bought these two controllers, well they came with receivers as well, on AliExpress. First of all I bought this one, which is the HS0680. Dash 50 and then I've just bought the HS 06 B 50. The difference is this one is tank steering both forwards and backwards and this one is forwards backwards left right and when I bought this I bought it by mistake I wanted that one not that one and one of the questions was, couldn't I just take it apart and turn the um, potentiometer, it's not a potentiometer, but couldn't I just turn the potentiometer 50 degrees, 50, 90 degrees, and get it working that way. So, I've taken the screws out, six screws, and we need to just lever this little bit up, because that's holding the top together. And interestingly enough, it's got a nice little connector on there, so you could put an extended aerial on. So, lift that up gently. Okay, we're going to have to unscrew that. So we can lift it off. Obviously, the first reason for not being able to just simply turn it is that the um, this is moulded in place, the slot, so you'd have to actually cut it. That doesn't want to come off. Can I lever it? Yes, a bit of leverage. I do like these. These are actually nice solid plastic, if that makes any sense. Right, so we can lift the top off, buttons fall out, and this is the reason that you can't just turn it sideways, because it just operates those two buttons. So you'd have to reposition those buttons side to side to make it work, and obviously that's not an easy job. I suppose we might as well take that one apart as well, just so we can look at the pair together. I'll do that off screen to save a bit of time. Right, we've got them apart. First thing to notice is I was wrong about the case. I thought the case was a single moulding, but these bits can be unscrewed and turned around 90 degrees. So the casing you don't have to cut, or the top case. The bottom case, studying that, looks like that can be turned around as well. The, the actual lever could be turned around 90 degrees. But the circuit board itself is not a simple swap. This is the one we were talking about modifying. You'd have to do something that enabled you to Possibly cut the board and move it across there and resolder the tracks. Looks like those bits just pull off. Yes, they would turn 90 degrees easily enough. wondering if there's any way you'd be able to saw the board in half I might say in half saw this side of it off all right so yeah technically you could saw straight up there 
put some extension wires on, turn that 90 degrees, and fit it there somehow. But that's an awful lot of work. There's no number on that chip before you ask. So yeah, I mean, technically possible, practically, nah, not really. So I'll screw that back together. I see, going back, back a stage, those nice little modules, clearly they can go that way or that way. So you could almost do it, but really not worth the effort. Let's turn them slightly for the thumbnail. And there we go. So thanks for the question, but that's the answer. No. Not impossible, but an awful lot of work for very little benefit. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.